So, the finale of Ethan, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Those loading dots strategically placed in the lower left or lower right corner where you can't see it. Yes, we'll be playing Gunpoint after this. So I'm pretty sure we'll, well, I'm going to finish it pretty soon. Been waiting for an opportunity to play that game and it's never arrived. Okay. So I was kind of stuck. I didn't know what to do. There's like two options, either I go up uh, to where we started, where the buildings were, or there is something I haven't figured out with... The generator here. So I actually didn't know that uh, this game was so short. I had like uh, an average playtime of four hours. Uh, I looked it up. So um, that's a bit sad because they spent. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not that you know games can definitely be be short. That's fine with me. But uh, they spent so much time in the environment. Feels almost... A bit too good to be true. Yeah, see you around Arctic. Have a great day, dude. Um, hmm. Any difference? Oh, yeah. It's actually a big difference. I don't see any different, like, change in the water level here. I still can't pass here. I think I tried that before. I tried walking out there as well. Maybe there. I think I tried that too. This looks almost like it's possible actually, so maybe, yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I tried it, but I tried it when, uh, when the generator was on. Okay. 
seem to have solved that problem. Wouldn't have made much sense to go back up to um, town. Pretty hilarious if we have the final cutscene now or something. <laughs> Shortest second day ever. Don't think we have the murder of the grandpa yet. Ethan was close. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. Really, really nice environments, that's all I can say. I hear something else though. Oh yeah. Still had the music player on in the background. It was set to like almost zero. I started hearing music from Alan Wake. <laughs> Mistake. You know, water that almost looks like real water, that's pretty cool. Not often you see that. Oh, wait. Is that the house that burned down? Looks pretty recent.
can't fight it. I have to destroy the ruins. Corpse. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oop. That didn't work. That was strange. I couldn't sense him. Song there, hello. <clears throat> Ethan? No. Curvus. Doing, doing fine. Playing some Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Messing up, I think. Should have been able to sense sense him. That means he's somewhere around. Let's try to find him. Maybe he can tell us. Ooh, nice. Really nice fire effects. I mean, where else could he be than this way? I should have known this name was a play on the Name Curvin from HP Lovecraft's stories. It's a family name though. Means he was the head sorcerer probably. It's a very pretty game, yes. Okay, we can't go up there. Let's continue on this way. It's a mystery game. It has me confounded. Okay. Okay, maybe we need to just wing it. Felt like we could... Uh... Well, actually this is like the ending, I think, of the game. We're like a paranormal... Uh investigator who went uh, went to this place to find a young boy outcast immortal hello didn't know you were here have a great day sir or a good night's sleep depending curvus Let's see if we can...
think it had something to do with this. Is that a Q row? Isn't that uh, Latin for raven or something? <laughs> Very nice effects. I guess this is the grandfather. This is the last dead guy. Yeah, exactly. Raven or crow. Grandpa brings the gasoline to the party. What's this? Moving the table. Or maybe this is number one, I don't know. has to be number four, so. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother, Gail, is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vandergrift's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look! When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. That seems like an awfully bad idea. I can squeeze through. Got the chronology right, that's nice. Gail, it has to be this way. The sleeper must not wake. Burning the room won't matter, Ethan. The sleeper's inside us now. Grandpa, get back! We all have to die. Even you, even me. Very calm. 
for being on fucking fire. Oh, that was quick. One of those flammable dudes. Highly combustible. Well, that's pretty creepy. Prospero, are you, are you really here? I'm sorry, Ethan. I was late. Too late. You're right. You were too late. <laughs> knew there had to be here. something. Again, I knew this story, and it was Ethan's as much as it was mine. And it wasn't finished. Not yet. Evil traps. The heck is that? Uh, Sangnif, we're going to be playing uh, Gunpoint in the puzzle game after this. Bridge. Damn. Church, this place, stories, traps and skulls, house of portals, witch forest, that thing, I don't know what it is, ancient god, what is that thing, oh, I see, I can travel there. Stories. You're gonna stream Xenauts? I don't know, man. I I stream Xenauts during the um, during the beta, and I just didn't feel it. Felt like, uh, hmm. But maybe I'll think about it. What the heck is this? See, now we have a story here. I tried to brick her up in the wall, but she f went fought me. In the end, I couldn't do it, not to my wife. Neither she nor the sleeper is pleased. Now I must decide whom I fear more. Okay. I'm not myself. I've not been myself. Voices again today. Some same as yesterday. This is most vexum. These little notes are just somehow surviving the fire. Wow, oh, more notes, seriously. What I must do is clear to me, uh, clear to me now. The sleeper resides in a prison of death and pain is the key. I 
to see what this is. Is that something I missed? Like location? Travel? Oh yeah, this forest. Maybe... Maybe I missed something in the forest. hear sounds but I don't see anything okay that's something definitely this I'm almost glad I didn't find this this would have given me uh This would have kind of ruined the mood for me, I think, if I found it early on. to catch you or what? Just follow you. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, there he is. Extraterrestrial container capsule. <laughs> Dude, no. It's just like contact. Rah. <laughs> 
Man, this would have ruined it completely if I if I found this in the beginning. Now you're all going to float here until you die. for eternity. Okay. Oh, it's like sort of translucent. Fangs! The beast had fangs but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking. The light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood up. Uh, stood rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home but it could not ignore the light so it chased it deeper into the forest. This would have kind of ruined the entire game, like, mood of the game, <laughs> if I found it early on. Oh, man. When light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, point pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Okay. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Poor misunderstood child. This is why I think uh, that we're actually a, a paranormal social worker. <laughs> Abstruse tales. Gay lord. <laughs> oh, it's not easy. It's not easy being special. Text. Travis defacement. Gay lord. <laughs> Same story. He ran a, ran away from home because he was bullied by his like asshole family living inbred on this little island for centuries or island I don't know what this is so this is the strange part I was transported here. actually get back? Do I have to run all the way back? I guess so. So I guess the wall there at the end is uh, showing you if you missed some stuff. In the game. There's one more thing I'd missed in that case. Still very nice graphics. Oh yes. Down there in the valley, kids. That's where we'll make a new home. Build a cottage. Built for 18. Eighteen of us. Home, I guess it's um
Come to think of it. Maybe I missed something in the building. I don't think I ever got like a clear something telling me that I finished in this building. Man, we're having a little bit of a like FPS lag today. you do what did you wake up nothing I found a room I walked into it that's it that's what happened in these I went into the rooms and I got dialogue I think that's the only thing that happened You need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandergriff house again. Said he found some secret room. Hmm. Uh, really? Okay, I will go talk to him. I will go talk to him. Maybe I have to do it in a particular order? That sounds very strange. Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. Maybe we didn't get this one. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. Probably missed the room. You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. Getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. One more dialogue. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Okay, I think that's all the rooms. Disturbed the sleeper. He must be punished. Now it actually Ethan's saves the family. Thing. Blamed him. Whatever it was, he'd accidentally let loose. His family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems, would soothe their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere, in the wind. All right, that was it. Man, 
find the lag. What what's going on? Strange. Can't see any reason for the FPS lag, but okay. Might be some texture loading, you know. Then Carter has entered you come. Might be possessed. Have to exercise the demon. Might be the recording that's going bananas when I'm moving too fast. It's trying to record too high quality. Wait, let's see. We should be able to cross the dam. Unfortunately, I don't know a shortcut. To run all the way back, but it's not that. It's not a giant environment, but they do make it feel larger than it is. It's really nice. This house looks... Oh, it's still burning. Okay, I thought it wasn't burning. Okay, anything else? Stories, what the heck? Still not done. Oh, wait, is that the um power plant nope okay it's here <laughs> Christ Ethan you're in here again you missed dinner mom and dad are pissed they've been looking all over the place Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. 
Hey, Ma, he's in here. Psychic detective. Psychic social worker. Honey, be careful with that lamp. Dale, the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing his stories. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake. You missed dinner. I'm sorry. Knew it. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad, <laughs> shut up. You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Oh, Whoop. shit! Shit! Everyone, go! Get out! Get out! Um, smoke it's exactly the ending that I did not oh, hope God. for. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> 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 Told you. Ethan Carter. Or, uh, I don't know, Paul Prospero, psychic social worker. It's kind of obvious all the time. I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. You made me real. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did. But my story's done, and it's a fine story. I can let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? What else? Well, well, well. Not kind of the story we're looking for, but yeah, all right. We'll simply, we'll simply have to take it. Uh, it's exactly what I am, right? The way I told it, Simba. Paul Prospero, psychic social worker. It was pretty, um, pretty obvious from the start. 
recording a Formosa Interactive Burbank. That's cool. <laughs> Formosa Interactive is one dude with a computer, probably. Still. It was all his imagination. Polish? I didn't know that. Unreal Engine copyright 1998. It's a very impressive game for a 1998 engine. <laughs> okay, just cut the audio off. Go ahead. Yeah, kind of not the ending we were looking for, but uh, I would say my uh, conclusion on this game is that they really 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 nailed um, like uh, the graphics and the settings and the atmospheric settings and stuff uh, and I was feeling it yesterday as well that uh, they could have done a lot more with this game I think I, I think it's a pretty small studio so I kind of understand that they had to set their limits and they really probably poured all their resources and all their time into um, into the graphical uh, part of the narrative. But um, for me the, the absolute high point was the, the house puzzle. That was so good. If they would have made a longer game with uh, like uh, more locations and more puzzles like that and um, skipped on the story narrative that I felt or, or that normally I don't say you should skip on the narrative but <sighs> when Dear Esther was hot shit I played it and uh, I was kind of impressed by or played it and I was kind of impressed by the graphics and uh, the ability to create moods uh, and uh, some of the like visual narrative in that game but I couldn't take it like too seriously or I couldn't take it like a really important piece of uh, art or game because it didn't have any gameplay really and I felt that uh, this this game was kind of close to keep the visual uh, storytelling and uh, just blending and just the right amount of like puzzle solving and stuff to, to make uh, uh, like a transition to the next level of, um, of that type of game. Uh, but I don't know, they still focused on... Uh, they fell a little short of that. That's really what I, what I my final conclusion is so uh, hopefully the next game that's made in this genre will will really nail it uh, I'm looking forward to that but it was really nice uh, definitely recommend this game to people who haven't played it so uh, we are going to do something completely different that ends this recording <laughs>